Welcome back to By Excellence Tutorials. And in the first video, we solved um, about A, B, C, D. We solved uh, four questions from this question. And these are the results that we got when we solved. Now, in this video, we are going to continue solving from E to G. OK, so now. Question E says, what are the maximum velocity and maximum acceleration? Okay, so we know that maximum velocity is given by angular, uh, angular frequency, I mean, angular speed multiplying by the amplitude. So we're going to have 0 0.05 meters multiplying by the angular speed, okay, which is 22.4 seconds. This we found in the first video. So, Max, so it's just about remembering the, the equations. Okay, so we have 1.12 meter per second, and that's the maximum velocity. Maximum acceleration is given by that equation. So we have 0.5 meters, and then we have 2.2 seconds squared. So we have when we punch okay, we have 25.09 meter per square second. This is going to be the maximum acceleration. And question F says, determine the displacement of the particle from the equilibrium position at time equal to 0.5 second. Okay, so just remember the uh, displacement equation. We know displacement is given by amplitude. And so we have the amplitude is 0 0.05 meters and then we have course and then angular speed we have um, 22.4 second so we are multiplying by time which is 0 0.5 seconds okay so that is going to give us 0 0.05 meters course so 0 0.5 seconds by 22.4, we get of course 11.2. Then we multiply and the displacement actually 0 0.049 meters. Okay, so it looks it's more about, remember we have uh, amplitude of 0 0.05 uh, meters. Okay, so this is going to be the displacement at time equal to 0 0.5. And G says, determine the velocity and acceleration of the particle when time equal to 0 0.5. Okay, so we have to find the velocity velocity and acceleration so since the key where is that okay so this is the for displacement okay. so for velocity we can just differentiate this one 
because we know that the velocity is actually that on which we need to start uh, differentiating here. Okay, so this is going to be, when we differentiate that, we're going to have negative that sign t. Okay, so velocity is going to be negative. Amplitude is going to be 0 0.05 newtons, the same amplitude, and we multiply by the angular speed sign angular speed times time 0 0.5 seconds okay. so we have So we have velocity of 0 0.2 2 meter per second. That's negative. Okay. And then the acceleration. Acceleration as well, we have to differentiate velocity to get acceleration. So when we differentiate that, we're going to have, um, what are we going to have? We're going to have negative, okay, so squared cos, okay. So at time, that we're going to have 0 0.05 newtons. And then we're multiplying by okay, the angular speed is squared. And then we also have cos angular speed times time 0.5. So the acceleration is going to be. Okay, is this correct? Twenty four point six per second. Let me just uh, punch that. Okay, yeah, so that's correct. So we have that as our acceleration. Okay. Okay, so that is how you get to solve um, that question. So if you have, if you need a tutor, actually not you have, if you need a tutor, a private tutor to help you to coach you in physics, uh, get my details in the description box and you can get in touch with me. If you have assignments uh, and tasks, you can get in touch with me. And don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel to share the links to your friends so that they can also be benefiting from Par Excellence tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.